cribs. <laughs> Burning cribs is my crib. <laughs> Bloody shit. <laughs> Being a clown. Just clown around. Where I am and how I got here through like being inspired and taught uh, or encouraged was just through being fed paper by my you know grandparents and then I went to high school and you know just became the one that drew and that was my role. I had friends that you know did graffiti and I, I did tags and uh, I was already trying to build like a catalog of my practice you know blindly because I look back and it's terribly shit but somehow I had faith and moved forward. I went to university with a whole bunch of kids that were in university to become teachers of kids that are going to go to university. I'm like, this is a vicious cycle of like misinformation and watering down the fact. I was there learning from teachers that have been taught by teachers how to be, you know, a, a painter or a sculptor. And I mean, really, you're just like learning from like shadows of bitter, bitter lecturers, you know. That was a good line, that shadow of bitter lecturers. Like, uh, you try to build everything as if it's a photo and you're building the you know, emotion you want to feel. Anything can change all along the way. Um, sometimes I have a plan, but usually I have enough pieces there to make mistakes. I'm open to taking chances and like managing the risks when I'm messing with aesthetics. I like when they give me problems and I'm, I'm skeptical if uh, they come out too easy too quick. Like I will work on something for 20 hours and destroy it to get the result that I'm after. It all has to be uh, ready to be lost, you know. It's this crazy, really em emotive thing where you, you can't let, let go of them. I consider myself an adventure painter. It's not about a, a design and an expectation, it's about a process and an experience. It's all really exciting for me still, you know, um, from getting new materials, to being in old studios, to a whole body of work getting taken down off the walls, the walls being blank white, new canvases going up and the smell of that, you know, that there's a fresh body of work coming. You know, I get excited, I get sexually aroused. Really, there are times I'm in this for the work and for making paintings and I just feel really fortunate that that's genuinely like why. It's really fun when you, when you mean it. My shit's toxic, you know dying for my sport. Hi, I'm Anthony Lister. I've got an addictive personality. Hi, I'm Anthony Lister and you're here at my show in West Hollywood and we're with 151 Frankie. 151 dot, you know what? You'll find something in that. Yeah.